Hello everyone, and welcome to today's video. We're going to dive into aluminum mold tooling for injection molding. Let's get started. Picture a part's journey through injection molding. At the start, you must decide, aluminum or steel tooling. This choice mainly comes down to quantity demands. If you're looking at producing over a million parts, steel tooling is your go-to. But heads up, it's a big investment. If your part volumes don't stretch into the millions, aluminum tooling might be your best bet. It's a fraction of the cost and offers some great benefits. It's perfect for product developers who need to be nimble, bypassing that high volume paradigm of large investments, long wait times, and inflexibility. Why is aluminum so great? Well, it's all about machinability. Aluminum is softer than steel, which means we can CNC machine it much faster for molding. Faster machining equals lower costs. That's always a win. Typically, aluminum molds can handle about 10,000 parts as a rule of thumb, but often they can do much more. Keep in mind though, mold life depends on the material type and geometry, and you'll likely need to replace an aluminum mold before you would a steel one. Aluminum tooling is ideal if your part volumes don't stretch into the millions, you need on-demand production parts within days, you want to avoid risky tooling investments before your part design is truly validated. Let's break down some key benefits of aluminum molds. Aluminum tooling has several advantages. Molds begin around $1,500 and can be delivered in seven days or less. Steel tooling, comparatively, has a larger lead time. Aluminum tooling produces production quantities of at least 10,000 parts, but often much more. At Protolabs, customers can choose either prototyping or on-demand production for quantities and corresponding price point to fit their needs. Aluminum molds are also capable of many of the features customers expect with production tooling, including single and multi-cavity tooling, one, two, four, and eight cavity molds are possible depending on part size and complexity. Expansive materials library. Thermoplastic and thermoset materials identical to that of high volume production materials are available. More than 100 different materials can be used including ABS, polycarbonate, polypropylene, liquid crystal polymer, and polyoxymethylene. Beneficial material properties. The thermal conductivity of aluminum allows for improved heat dissipation, reducing the need for messy cooling lines. In additional cost savings, aluminum molds also remove the need for maintenance fees with damage to the molds covered over its lifetime. Now, let's talk about some design considerations for aluminum molds. First up, part finish. If part cosmetics are critical, a smooth SPI A2 finish requires mold cavity surfaces to be hand polished with diamond buff to one to two RA. But if looks aren't a big deal, PMF0 is an as-machined surface finish that's the least expensive option. Don't forget about draft for part ejection. Whether you're using aluminum or steel, adding draft to your mold is crucial. It prevents scraping as the part is ejected and helps avoid poor surface finish, bending, breaking, or warping. By adding a taper to the faces of the part, draft prevents scraping as the part is ejected out of the mold. Wall thickness is another key factor. Each thermoplastic family has a recommended minimum wall thickness. A general rule is between 0.040 inches to 0.140 inches, applied consistently across the entire part. Lastly, remember to add radii to corners. Sharp internal corners are tough to machine and they can create stress and weaken structural integrity. So be generous with those rounded edges. Protolabs offers two service level tooling options capable of meeting unique needs during the product development process. Prototyping offers a lower price point for limited quantities, while part price is higher. On-demand manufacturing offers a longer mold life and is best when production will be needed for multiple years at higher volumes for end-use parts. And there you have it, a comprehensive look at aluminum versus steel tooling and injection molding. Remember, if you have any questions, our team is always here to help. Just give us a call or shoot us an email. See you in the next video.